but let's imagine that six months have passed by. I'm out in uh, the business parks and I'm perhaps uh, on a property tour and Victoria calls me and I want to go in there and look up Victoria's contact information to make sure that uh, I'm speaking with precision. And so you can see that Victoria's name is sitting there in the database. This is a, an application that resides on the iPhone and has information available to me on the phone, but also is constantly communicating with the, uh, the, the cloud-based version of a Syndex RE out there in the cloud. So I'm going to tap into Victoria's contact record, and by sliding from uh, left to right, we can see the related tab has now been illuminated. As I scroll down, we'll see that sure enough, there's the activity history, allowing me to look at one or many correspondence pieces that have gone on between me and Victoria at this juncture, really only having one, that being the email. So at that point, I can have a conversation with all the details around uh, my interactions with Victoria. In addition to being able to consume data that was perhaps created on the desktop, I also have the ability to edit data here as well. And so clicking the edit button here on the, por the lower portion of the mobile app, I uh, am now able to go in there and modify Victoria's record. And so I'm going to add an updated phone number that Victoria has provided to me and hit the done button and save. And at that point, that record has been updated not only on the phone, but has also been updated so that anybody accessing this record uh, back at my office would have uh, access to it as well. And not only do I have the ability to uh, edit records, but you'll notice there's some really nice integration between the mobile application and the, the iPhone phone functionality. And you'll notice the call button below that if I tap on, it recognizes that the business phone has been uh, entered in for Victoria, at which point I can tap on that and effectively pass the baton from the Ascendix RE mobile application to the iPhone phone, at which point I'm calling Victoria. And I'm not going to actually um, go through with the phone call, but imagining that we had a conversation and we talked about a good many things, I want to, to log uh, some notes on what it is that we talked about and the fact that I called her. And with the integration that we have with the iPhone and the Ascendix RE mobile application, you'll see that the call dialog pops up after that call has been completed, at which point I can tap into the details area and either typing or using my voice, go in and capture those details. I'll use my voice in that I'm a safe driver. Discussed leases at Preston Park Financial Center. created the, the notes for that particular um, call. And if I slide over to the related, we'll see that uh, down below, an activity history has incremented from one to two, showing that I have in fact created a, a call entry. While we were on that phone, phone call, we decided that we were going to touch base in two weeks. And so I'm gonna continue to use my mobile phone for some what I'll call usual use cases out in the field, and I'm gonna schedule a new event. I'm gonna click on the new event, and in the subject line, once again, use my voice. Follow-up meeting on lease at Preston Park Financial Center. Save, and now I've recorded an, uh, an activity for the future. So, um, a couple of other things uh, that might be relevant. Um, we, we note that uh, when we're talking to Victoria, there are other parties that are going to get involved in the conversation, and I want to add those as well. And so I'm going to schedule another meeting or another not schedule, but rather create uh, a new contact, Brad Thompson. And you'll notice that I've already connected him to a Syndix RE, and I might put in a few other details for brevity. I'll go ahead and hit uh, Hit the save button, and now we can see that alongside Victoria, we've got Brad Timpson uh, in the database. And so uh, with Brad, I'm going to go ahead and for good measure, just go ahead and schedule an activity with him as well. Click on the new event. Meeting to introduce Ascendix RE. 
We don't want a syndic sorry here. Go ahead and back that up and save. So now we've recorded um, a, an activity against uh, Brad's record and done a number of things while out in the field. And, and now it's time to get back to the office here and resume our business day. And so I'm going to do that by getting to our desktop application. And at this point, let's go and review um, all the relationship information that we have uh, with the Syndex RE. We can see that in addition to those things, like for instance, the original email that started this whole journey, the call that was logged while we were on the mobile phone, as well as the various meetings, one of which, which, which was scored or scheduled with Victoria, and one of which was scheduled with, with Brad is available here. Moreover, if we slide over to the contacts quick link, we can see that in addition to Victoria, Brad has now been recorded as well. This concludes the demonstration for today's session here. I want to just uh, remind you that uh, you can go to uh, www.ascendix.com for more information. Of course, uh, the, the products that you've seen here are listed out on the App Exchange as well. Uh, you can reach out to me personally at wsnow at ascendix.com uh, or sales at ascendix.com. Uh, and, uh, and get more information um, that way and set up a personal demonstration. So I appreciate your time and uh, I look forward to uh, meeting uh, you in the future. Thanks.